So first I'm going to give you the basics and then I'm going to talk about how you can use dates with certain calculations. So if you have a cell and you want to put in the current date and time, that is as easy as typing equals now open bracket close bracket. As soon as you hit enter, it's going to put in the date and the time. That will update of course. If you open the spreadsheet tomorrow, that will have a new value in it. If you just want the current date, you could of course use equals now, open bracket, close bracket, and then just format it. Or you can use another one, which does not include the time. Equals today, open bracket, close bracket. You hit enter, and in this case you just get the date. Now, contrary to popular belief, there is no yesterday, tomorrow, or next week functions, but we can use essentially a little bit of math with these functions I've just gone over with you. So for example, yesterday would be equals today, open bracket, close bracket, minus one. You hit enter, there's your yesterday. Tomorrow, you might have figured it out already, but if I do equals today, open bracket, close bracket, plus one, goes of course tomorrow. And next week could be something like this. Today, open bracket, close bracket, plus seven. And there you have it. Now. What this indicates, or what this means, is that when we put in these date functions, all it's thinking is actually a number of days since the year 1900. Now, that allows us to use dates in certain calculations that could be very cumbersome to do ourselves, uh, really easy if we know how to use these functions. So, I'm going to go over this other sheet here. I have a very basic spreadsheet. I have employees, the date they were hired, and I want to calculate how many years they've been working here. So, that would look something like this. It would look like equals, and then I need to know today. I need to know what value today is, right? So I'm going to use that today function. That gives me, essentially, if we're thinking numbers, that gives me a number of days since the year 1900. From that, I'm going to subtract this date value, which is, again, the number of days it's been since the year 1900 until they got hired. So essentially, if I take today, minus that date, I get a number of days between those two dates. So how this is going to work now is if I were to hit enter, this is going to actually put in a date, which is incorrect, but I'll show you here. So it's giving me a date. All I got to do is change the formatting. Okay, I'm going to do them all at the same time. So instead of being a date, which is not, not what I want, on the home tab, under number here, if I just click this drop down, I'm going to switch it to a number. And there you can see I get a number of days between those two dates. I don't want a number of days, of course. I want a number of years. So I'm just going to go in and modify this formula a bit. Due to order of operations, I need to put these in brackets. And I'm going to divide this whole thing by 365.25 to incorporate bleep years in there. Hit enter. And there you have it. I get the years of service. If I fill that down, away you go. So these date functions aren't just a nice way of putting in the printed date or the printed time, whatever it might be. We can also use them in calculations to make tedious tasks a little bit easier.